Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for visiting Uncle Jay Plays. Uh, we will be continuing the exploration of the underground, and I will be trying out some new audio equipment that I have. No guarantees, but hopefully it records a little bit better. It is currently around 4.30 in the morning, and my neighbors are outside loudly arguing. Hopefully my audio equipment doesn't pick any of that up. I hope everyone had a nice weekend so far. We still got Sunday to go, so <laughs> we can still have surprises, can't we? In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Poor monsters. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to be encountering Undyne again. She's a huge pain in the fanny. She's also apparently a terrible shot. Thankfully, the spears, if you do get hit, do not do too much damage. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to fear too much. You know, she should really be shooting for where I'm going, not where I may be. Although, I guess she just put me in my place, didn't she? You know, I find the original design with her armor much more cooler than her actual, like, fisherman's outfit. Oh, crud. Can I not heal? Well, it's just got a little bit more serious, didn't it? I thought I could just heal. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dead end. What is Undyne going to do to me? So, why didn't she just strike the killing blow at that point? I mean, she goes on this huge tangent about how important our soul is, and yet they just chop the bridge in half and send me falling over the edge. Like, really? It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Jay, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... And then we wake up here, huh? In a bed of golden flowers. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. <laughs> you know, I thought it was kind of interesting that they had this idea where human garbage flows into the underground. It's like, well, way to pollute even more, you jerks. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Jump. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair.
A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You've got the astronaut food. Come on. Oh, that's it. It's a DVD case or an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. <laughs> Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am the ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. I don't know what I said. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one's happy with this. Futile, futile, futile. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. I'm already recalling this fight where you gotta wang him with his own magic. Mad dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Well, good for him. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Whatever. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Then everything I want will be mine. Mad Dummy is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Disgusting. Mad Dummy, attack 30. Defense, yes. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Huh? Yeah, I guess I'll avenge my cousin. What was her name again? Oh, budge. I'm gonna need to heal. You eat one half of the bicycle, you recover 11 HP. Whatever, whatever, whatever! Hey, guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! What a jig jag. <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Dummy! Bots! Magic missile! Dummy bots, try again! Ooh. 
Oof. That kind of hurt. Dummy bots! You're awful. Ugh. Mad dummy is bossing around its bullets. Yeah, good for it. Dummy bots! Final attack! No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever! FOREVER! <laughs> what? What the heck is this? Yeah, as it rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. See you later, nerd. Sorry. I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um... Feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure, I understand if you're busy, it's fine, no worries, just thought I'd offer, get out of here, damn ghost, hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see, or in case, you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Awesome. Now, if I recall correctly, that duck will get me back over that path. Excellente. This is Undyne's house. What? 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 It's a living... What? 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 It's a living. Oh, it's a living being a training dummy. Okay, all right. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. I like how her house looks like a fish. I wonder how human houses would look if they were designed like that. <laughs> okay, that's Blue Key's area. What we got here? North, Blue Key Acres, East, Hotland, and question mark. Temi Village! Okay, this is that old turtle, I'm pretty sure. Use the box. Crap. Oh, I'm all full up. Okay. Okay, well, let's check out the Blookster's house first. Wrong way. <laughs> oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? 
You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie down on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sounds like a Saturday night to me, folks. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move when you want to get up, I guess. What, did that ghost sandwich have some LSD in it or something? Jeez Louise. The music is very calming. I like the space and the stars and the planets. I mean, if that's what it means to sit on the ground and feel like garbage, well, that would be just alright. But I know better, because I do the same thing on a regular basis. <laughs> I am not sure if there's anything that you can achieve by sitting so long, but I honestly don't feel like testing it, so I am going to move. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh... That's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Sure. You play the CD. Sounds like somebody is farting into a trombone. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it. A little bit better. This CD is labeled Cool Day Music. That's terrible. Please. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Yeah, we already went over that. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. So, if you're incorporeal, how are you wearing those headphones? Well, unless I guess they're ghost headphones. Uh. I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Alright, I'm Audi 10,000. It's locked. Oh no. It's implied that that's probably Metaton's house. Snail races. Uh, I don't know if I want to deal with that. This snail is counting dollar bills. I've been long overdue for a second house. That is a big frickin' snail. And that one has a cute little mustache. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snaileth Sam Bile. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> you know, I've never had escargot, but I have a very open mind when it comes to eating food, so one of our local restaurants does have it, and maybe someday I'll try it. Although I heard that if it's not cooked properly, it's like snot in the middle, and that doesn't sound very appealing to me at all. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, 
I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I don't generally participate in in-game gambling mechanics. It's usually a waste of time. All right, let's see here. Let's save it again. I'm assuming the hairy guy is uh, King As Asgore. Um, so him and Toriel must both eat snails. All right, let's see the turtle. Okay. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to do the, do his voice, or any voice for him. I mean... I'm, he's old. Got those liver spots. <clears throat> Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale! Anything you want to know? About yourself. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, that is going to kill my vocal cords. Sorry about that little audio disruption, but I had something digging in my ear that was killing me. I really should have just put it on mute first. Um... Tell me about that emblem. Uh, you don't know what this is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as they always say Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly go, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Yeah, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it, but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Uh, tell me about Undyne. It's scaly fish wafu. Undyne! Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wahaha! <laughs> okay. Emblem's meaning. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Okay. Tell me about the prophecy, old man. Oh, yeah! The prophecy! Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been ta taking a break up. Uh, wow. Let me retry that again. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling that winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from uh, this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> Alright. Don't be shy now. 
<laughs> I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Oh, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. <laughs> uh. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Alright. It lowers defense, but... Uh, the thing is... It increases your invulnerability state longer when you get hit, and you absolutely want that. Because we're not fighting anyways. Most of these boss fights are hugely scripted, and it's more of a marathon just waiting for them to get their stupid dialogue out of the way. Thanks! Waha! Yeah, get bent, turtle. Be careful out there, kid! Okay, let's equip the good stuff. Body glasses. Our notebook. Equip the our notebook. Ah, uh, so we got a bunch of junk laying around here now. I'm not sure if there's any repercussions for dropping this other stuff or not, but we have incredibly limited inventory space. Use the box, yeah. So I got a bunch of healing items, and then this stuff that I'm probably not going to wear anyways. So I think I'm going to just end up, well... Let's see if I can get the Temi Village and sell it. It really seems like a waste to just throw this crap away. Temi vi Village is also where you can get the Temi Armor. And uh, that is something I absolutely want to get. And part of getting it involves dying a lot to lower the cost of it. Um, When I get around to that point, I'm probably going to play on my own. Because last thing you guys need to do is see me die over and over and over again. Oh, there's a little speck flying around there. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the human. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks a barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come down here. You will remain trapped down here forever. You know, except there is obviously a couple entrances because human trash flows down the waterfall. This stupid kid, this mute, he falls down here. Well, it falls down here. I'm pretty sure they designed Frisk in a manner that makes them um, completely uh, gender neutral, I suppose. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Emmy is one, Temi is one of the cutest guys, you know. You say hello to Temi. Hi! I'm Temi! Oh. Well, that's not nice, Temi. Temi forgot her other attack. Thank God. You won! And I don't get anything for that? Real nice. Thanks a lot, Temi. Alright. Let's see here. I think you can feed them Temi Flakes, but I don't know if you have to actually have it in your inventory or not. Bad idea to take a drink just before that.
Wow, that mold small is pissed. Hmm. Wow, I... <laughs> they changed it up. I'm not sure exactly what to do about this one. You lie down. Mold... Mold Big lies down too. Mold Big understands life now. Gwaaah! Need some distance, huh? Okay. You don't hug Moldvig. It appreciates your respect for its boundaries. Rawr. Moldvig seems comfortable with your presence. Wow, what a pain in the butt. My hit points look oof. I'm gonna have to go back later to get some more of those Healy items. Oh, they're gonna make me backtrack. I hate that crap. I'm pretty sure Temi Village is around here somewhere. You gotta, like, do one of these stupid light puzzles. I might have to actually check to figure it out. Honestly. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Okay. Alright. I think I see what's going on here. So... Is it supposed to be really dark in here? Because... I mean, I see what's going on. Uh. We ask Washu to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean! Okay, and I'm pretty sure you have to get the green droplets in order to spare them. Gwah! Ah, oh, fudge. Oof. Slime sounds. Like I said before in the past, some of these creatures I can't really, you know, hold a grudge against. They're probably just local fauna and wildlife. What's going on here? I thought those... Hmm. Fine, whatever. Hey, come on. Ah, crud. Alright. I like how little heart just, you know, runs off. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, 
Our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain they have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I've come to help you... God. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got the front row seats to her fight! Wait! Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? The hey, I thought. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky. Looking at the world all around, that's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Oof, am I not getting any more save? Mm. Yo! Totally tubular, dude. Yo! I know I'm not st supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Uh, yo, you're human, right? Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me. Um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo! Wait! Help! I tripped! Yo! Dude! If, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. You fishy bitch. <laughs> She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Gets being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. See you later, alligator. I'm not sure if I did a very good un undying voice earlier, so 
I'm going to give it another shot, shot. We'll see how it works. Seven. Seven human souls. And King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when Pete, you're about to die? Nyah! You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your, your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Afoo! <laughs> Give me a save point. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Okay, we'll see if I can just push through this last fight. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. Undyne attacks. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Dance Dance Revolution. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Not bad. Then how about this? I think this is one of the more unique fights, and I really like it. it smells like sushi. Ugh, Undyne. Take a bath. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Yeah, enough warming up. I'm out of here. <laughs> Get out of my way. You won't get away from me this time. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. This is probably one of my favorite fights just because of the mechanics. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. No human has ever made it past Asgore. <laughs> Killing you is an act of mercy. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. So stop being so damn resilient! Oop. Oh, 
fudge. Oh, she's starting to move pretty fast here. <laughs> Oh. Ah, crap. You've escaped from me for the last time! Undyne attacks. Do 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 do. Alphys told me humans were. Ah, uh, okay, I missed that. Crap, that's right. So the yellow arrows point in a direction after they're gonna move. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I see now what she meant, but. Whatever. Undyne draws her finger across her neck, yeah. But I'm determined to! Oh. You eat the astronaut food. Your HP was maxed out. Determined to end this right now. Undyne bounces impatiently. Right now! See, now those glasses and notebook just spared me from taking like three extra hit points. Uh, hits there, so pretty nice. Undyne towers threateningly. Right now. Oop. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Yeah! Die already, you little brat! Oof. Oh my god, I'm gonna get smoked. <laughs> uh. Let's see if we can pound pavement and get out of here. Ring! Hey! What's up? I was just thinking! You, me, and I'm dying! Should all hang out sometime! I think you would make great pals! Let's meet up at her house later! Get out of here, Papyrus, you nerd! Stop running away! Get out of here! <laughs> Alright. Oof. She almost had me there for a second. Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. Bleh. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Please. You take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? I would have splashed her right on the face. Just psh. May just throw an empty cup at her. Yeah, take that. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Jerk. Okay, so... I must have missed Temi Village, because I'm almost positive you can get to their village before you confront Undyne. And that Temi armor would have been really super duper nice. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. I'm going to cheat and look at some guides and see what's going on here. I'm probably going to go grind for Temi armor. And then by the time I play and upload my next video, I'll probably have some new gear. You guys really don't need to see me grinding that nonsense out. <clears throat> Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. So, once again, I greatly appreciate anyone who's visited my channel and viewed my videos. I hope you've enjoyed them, and I hope that you have a fantastic Sunday morning and afternoon.
goodbye.